Developing at 11, you might be one of millions of Americans dealing with the stuff he knows, but don't be so quick to reach for that over-the-counter Benadryl, Sudafed, or Allegra. An FDA advisory committee said today the main ingredient in those popular allergy and cold medicines doesn't work, at least against congestion. News Six's Troy Campbell is live outside local doctor's office tonight with what you need to know if any of these pills are in your medicine cabinet. Troy. Definitely. Uh, I think consumers should be irritated. They should be mad. I think in pediatrics worlds, we've been trying to say for years, hey, you know what? These medicines don't work. Lake Nona pediatrician Dr. Annette Nielsen says back in 2006, federal health laws changed, requiring an ID check behind a pharmacy counter in order to purchase a common decongestion medicine amid addiction concerns. However, in order to keep their products on the shelves near the register, Health officials say major medicine brands substituted their formulas with a drug called phenylephrine. The drug is described by the FDA advisory board as effective as a placebo, or simply put, not taking the medicine at all. So instead, because that was moved behind the counter, corporations said, okay, what ingredient can I put on the shelf? So what they did is they took phenylephrine, which is an old medication that was approved by the FDA prior to 2006. And since it's an old medicine, already approved, you can go ahead and put it into your product without having to reapprove for FDA approval or authentication. The FDA is expected to make a decision on whether to ban the drug. On the argument, it costs money to make and has zero effect on people who orally consume it. As the CEO of Treehouse Pediatrics, Dr. Nielsen says the mighty marketing dollar for the drug has gone a long way, but she says she's thankful her medical peers are finally putting ethics first. Drink your Gatorade, you know, eat your chicken noodle soup like grandma said, get some rest and it's gonna be okay. Take your Tylenol, take your anti-fever medicines, but if you actually need a decongestant, show your ID, get the stuff from behind the counter. In the meantime, the FDA advisory board says if you continue to uh, take the drug by going to your local Publix or a Walgreens um, and you take the product orally, you are not at any risk um, in any danger from the product. Also, uh, the FDA says there could be supply shortages if they do ban the drug just while those manufacturers work to reformulate their product. Live in Orlando, Troy Campbell, Getting Results News 6.